Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. Today's video is going to be a keto-friendly grocery haul, so if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Before I jump into this keto grocery haul, I just want to say that I'm so happy to be filming in my kitchen right now. I feel like I haven't shot a video in here in so long. And this is just a grocery haul. It's not a cooking video or anything, but now that I'm eating more keto, I'm super excited to try new things and get back in the kitchen and start shooting cooking videos in here again. I feel like I haven't done those in so, so long. So very excited to just try new things feeling more re-inspired, so super excited to do that. But before I get into cooking keto things, I'm going to do my little keto grocery haul. I just went to Trader Joe's, and then last week, exactly a week ago, I did go to Whole Foods, so I still have a few things left over from Whole Foods that I didn't repurchase at Trader Joe's, but I will show you those as well, because had I not had those in my refrigerator already, I would have purchased it again at Trader Joe's. But let's jump right into it in no particular order. Got some greens. So arugula is my favorite leafy green. I've said it in so many different things. It just tastes really, really good as the base of a salad and it's also a cruciferous vegetable technically. So you know I talk about cruciferous vegetables all the time like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower. All those are high in fiber which does make them great for keto and they're also really good for detoxing your liver. So if you do have any hormone issues or you just kind of want to detox your body, eating cruciferous vegetables is great and arugula is one of those as well as just a leafy green that's perfect for salads. So you can have it as the base of your salad and get all of the nutrients that you need in a keto friendly way. I feel like that's what I'll be doing mostly for keto is just different salads because while it is a lot of carbs in terms of the vegetables, all of the fiber in it will balance it out so it is the lower net carbs and it'll be a great way to try new fun things to just get all my vegetables in and they're not hard to do. If you just have like different ingredients, you can't really mess up a salad. You just kind of throw whatever you have in there together. So arugula is my favorite for that. I also picked up some spinach, this to throw in some eggs in the morning just to give it more volume and again, add a ton more nutrients. I also picked up some frozen spinach, which I will throw in the freezer right now because they're already getting a little soft. I have to turn off my AC for the videos. But these I'm going to make a lot of smoothies with, so in the morning, again, just to provide volume and the frozen, that way I don't have to add a frozen banana because bananas are not keto friendly. They're super high in carb, especially as they're more ripe. They're super high in sugars versus when they're a bit more green. Another set of greens that I picked up is this cruciferous crunch collection like hello so this is sometimes they sell and they also sell this at a lot of different grocery stores as a pre-made salad so you have this and then you put on this like lemon poppy vinaigrette almost and then you add pumpkin seeds and cranberries and you like let it sit for 10 minutes and it's just a really good salad that you throw together so I do absolutely love that salad but one they didn't have it at Trader Joe's and two I don't think it would be keto friendly because cranberries are a dried fruit which typically is higher in sugars so not bad sugar it's definitely a sugar from fruit but at the same time the carb ratio is a lot higher especially with dried fruits like the carbs and just the calories really sneak up on you with that so this is just the greens it's kale brussels sprouts broccoli green cabbage and red cabbage so i figured i can make that as my own salad just a base without having to buy all the separate ingredients that way I don't have a ton of things going bad in my fridge if I don't get to them. So what I will use for that, I just got in the mail the other day the Brightland olive oil, so I'm super excited to try these out. I haven't tried them out since, but super excited. So I got the Alive and the Awake. It's the duo that you can get a subscription for, and it's also cheaper if you do a subscription. So I just did the three month subscription because again, it's just me here and like sometimes Austin. It's not like I'm gonna be going through it every one or two months. So I did do the three months and you are able to skip, which is really nice in case I don't finish these up in three months. So I also picked up some nuts, a bunch of different nuts because they're all high in fat and pretty low in carbs. I got some raw walnuts and I got all my nuts raw. That way they're not roasted, salted. That way I can do whatever to them. I can throw them with some coconut oil in my little toaster oven and roast them myself with my own flavors. And that way I know what I'm putting in there and I know the calories that I'm putting in there versus buying something that's already pre-done. So raw is great and then raw is also a lot better to just throw on your salads. And again, if you do want to have a little bit of crunch, have a little bit of that roasted taste. You can easily just put them with some avocado oil on the stove and let them get a little toasty and they're just as good. I also got raw Brazil nuts. These ones are 20 grams of fat for every serving and four grams of carbs with two grams of fiber. So only two net carbs for a serving. So Brazil nuts are also really, really good for keto. Similarly, I got raw pecan halves or pecan, however you want to do it. 
I feel like I call them pecans, but when it comes to the pie, it's pecan pie. It really varies on the context of the pecan slash pecan. Um, but yeah, these are also really, really good. Also two grams of net carbs and 21 grams of fat. So nuts are just really, really good. I also talked about that in my high fat food video, that nuts are just great and they also provide a lot of just like volume and are just a really great way to get different nutrients in. And I was kind of hoping since like everybody knows that Trader Joe's has the best snacks, like Trader Joe's snack game is better than their actual like produce. So I was super excited to go through all the snack aisles and kind of see what I can find that's keto because I do like to snack and it's really hard to find a keto friendly snack. So I was really hoping to find something and I didn't find that much actually. Like in general, they're pretty hard to find. And I was hoping Trader Joe's would have something. Um, I almost got these like 75% cacao chocolate covered almonds. The net carbs wasn't bad, but I think the net carbs would have been eight grams and for only like eight almonds or whatever. So to me, that's basically like half of the net carbs that I should be eating since I should only for doing the standard keto diet, it's like 20 net carbs. So I don't know, to me, I was like, I don't wanna do that. And then I have to be a lot more careful about the vegetables that I'm eating throughout the day when the vegetables should be taking priority and like those should be where I am getting my few carbs versus chocolate covered raised almonds. So that was, that was sad to see go. But got some raw almonds. Again, I can just throw them in my toaster oven and roast them however I want. So I can throw, I don't think a cacao powder would be great on them, but like cinnamon or something, so I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll make a video on like different roasted nuts. One thing I am super excited for though is the everything but the bagel nut duo, nut duo. it's almonds and cashews, so cashews aren't the most keto, but for a serving, which is a quarter cup, it's 15 grams of fat, as well as six grams of carbs with two grams of fiber, so only four net carbs. It is a little bit higher than the other just plain raw nuts, but I'm super excited for this. I love the everything but the bagel seasoning. And the whole reason I actually went to Trader Joe's today is because earlier this week I ran out of my seasoning, so I stocked up on two. That way that does not happen again. So yes, I also got these. Oh, so good, so good. I also picked up some beets. I absolutely love beets, especially if you're a guy. I'm not a guy, but if you are a guy and you need some hormone help, beets are really, really good for you. The only thing is that they are higher in carb. So this has two servings per container and there's no fat in here and there's eight grams of net carbs. So a bit higher. So this will be definitely be something that I just like throw on a salad or eat with a protein as a meal. Um, maybe for dinner, having like chicken with some beets because it is so high in net carbs that this is definitely something that I would eat on a day when I'm not really snacking on anything else or I'm a bit more conscientious about my breakfast and my lunch for the day. Also frozen, I got some riced cauliflower. This would be great to make some cauliflower fried rice. To mash, I actually made a cauliflower, a rice cauliflower mash. Instead of buying the whole head of cauliflower, I just took the rice cauliflower that Austin had and threw it in his blender with some butter and I think that might've been it. It's so much easier to do when it's riced. So when it's rice, it's already done for you. And cauliflower, I feel like sometimes smells, like I've tried making cauliflower crust pizza and just the cauliflower and draining all that liquid out, like kind of smells weird sometimes. So having it already riced so I don't have to do that step is very, very nice. And it's in my freezer. So if I don't get to it soon, it's not gonna go bad. It'll be in my freezer until I need it. It'll last so much longer, which is also again, why I got the frozen spinach. If you're on a really tight budget, frozen everything is just a really good way to go because it is typically cheaper and it lasts longer. So just a budget tip there. And then I also got some albacore tuna cans. I absolutely love getting my tuna from Trader Joe's. And this is so weird. It's not because it's better than any other tuna or whatever, but simply because it has this like cap opener thing. I don't know what you call that. Tab, it has a tab on the top. So I don't have to use my can opener, which I do have, and it's not that it's like a hard thing to do. I just prefer this, it's so much easier. So I love getting all my tuna and like canned goods at Trader Joe's for this reason. It's just like one thing that I don't have to do, another thing I don't have to clean, I'm here for it. And that's all for that bag. Also, Trader Joe's is like the only place that allowed me to bring in my reusable bags. Everywhere else I've gone, Whole Foods, and Gelson's, and those are the only two places I've also gone. Don't allow you to bring in your reusable bags. You have to get paper or plastic, which is so annoying because all the benefits that our planet has been seeing from people like not driving, all the nature returning, and Venice, like the canals were clean because there's not full of tourists. And then like our plastic consumption has just gone so far up because we have to take do more takeout. We have to use disposable cutlery. If you are like getting food somewhere, they'll give you that. If you're going grocery shopping, you have to use a paper or plastic bag. People are using their 
plastic gloves so they don't have to touch anything and then leaving them in parking lots. It's a disaster. So I'm just like, yes, great that we're not driving everywhere and like saving the planet in one way, but like the plastic has gotten out of control. So I'm super happy Trader Joe's let me do that. The thing is though, I was about to bag it, like as he was scanning, I was gonna put it in my bag and he said, oh no, I'm gonna scan it and then put it back in your basket. And then they had these tables set up outside the exit that were like all sanitary and they had like wipe down, like stuff to wipe everything down to. And then that's like the bagging station. So you have to bag your own food like outside of the grocery store, which is interesting because I could have also just done it right then and there and you wouldn't have had to put everything back, but whatever. I'm happy I got to use my own reusable bag, even if it meant that like unnecessary step. Some snacks I did find are these seaweed crisps. So these are super good. A gram of carb, less than a gram of fiber. So it's essentially like nothing. It's like eating air, but it's a snack. They also have the roasted seaweed with the wasabi flavor, but I'm not a big spice gal. So that's just sea salt, super simple super basic, just like myself. Also some more avocados. One of these is pretty, oh, do one of them squish? Why do I have avocado on the outside of my bag? Anyway, two avocados. I have another one in my refrigerator. Some red bell peppers. These are great for nutrients, great for keto. I have an eyelash in my eye. Eh, eh. So they're just great all around. Wow, it is poking me. Um, so I'm super excited to have these, again, to saute them with some meat, have them on the side of a protein, or even just chop them up for my salad, put some in some eggs, just super versatile. Absolutely love red bell peppers. Some blueberries because they are so high in fiber that they're pretty low in carb. They're one of the best fruits to eat. So again, you can really eat only eat berries as your fruit on keto. And then out of all those berries, blueberries are the absolute best. The other ones you still have to be a little bit careful about since they are a little bit higher in sugar and therefore a little bit higher in carbs. And again, it's all natural sugars, it's natural carbs, but it doesn't have enough fiber to balance it out, whereas blueberries do. I got some more tomatoes. So I do have this little guy left from Whole Foods last week, but I got these just to have some more. I've been making salads with a lot of tomatoes on them. Again, super keto friendly. I'm so upset that it's like so packaged though. I'm like, you can literally just give me the vine. Like I don't need a box for that, whatever. That was annoying. Another snack I found are the seasoned kale chips. They are 11 grams of fat and eight grams of carbs with three grams of fiber, so five net carbs. And these are super good. They have cashew butter and tahini. Super excited for these. They used to have these a lot at one of the jobs I worked at in the snack room and I would just always go hard on these. And then I can make my own kale chips, but I feel like they never come out as crispy. I'm definitely still perfecting those but these I'm super excited for. Just a good little snack to have that's healthy and keto and will allow me to snack without like just rummaging through everything and then caving and getting something not good. Also got some sauerkraut to just add to salads, to everything. Absolutely love sauerkraut. Another snack that I found as I was walking over to the checkout just in this basket are these little olive packets just called just a handful of olives. Pretty straight to the point. I also just like love Trader Joe's. It's like that's what it is. Maybe there's a pun to it. So these six grams of fat, less than one gram of carb. So like, and then plus less than one gram of fiber. It's essentially no carbs. And it's just like pre-packaged, really cute versus going ham on the olives, which I also tend to do. Of course, that would have been better just getting like a thing of olives in terms of less packaging, like getting these individual packaged ones. But if you're going on a picnic, if you're going to the beach, if you just want a little snack, like these are definitely really, really good. And I did just see them on my way to the checkout line. Had I thought about all of this as a snack beforehand, I definitely would have gotten like a bigger container just to reduce packaging. But do love that they are pre-portioned out because I do struggle with the portion control sometimes. Got some burrata cheese. Again, in my last video, I talked about how I'll be eating like, good cheeses. So, got some burrata. This is great for salads. Yeah, great for salads. I don't know what else I would put the cheese on. And then for protein, I got some all natural bone in skin on thighs. Oh, I didn't realize I got the bone in ones. I was super excited about the skin on because I did get some chicken thighs the other day that I made with Austin, but they were boneless and skinless. So the top didn't crust, like get a nice flavor to it as I kind of hoped that it would. It was still pretty good. So I was super excited this had the skin on, but now I'm kind of annoyed that it has the bones on. So I have to eat around the bones. For four ounces of the bone in thighs will be 19 grams of fat. So again, a super fatty cut of protein and it has zero grams of carb and 19 grams of protein. So very, very good. Of course, 
meat doesn't have carbs, Lauren. And then also for meat, for proteins, I got some more prosciutto. I already have some from Whole Foods, but I'm just running low. And this I love just one, snacking on, love prosciutto so much. And two, also for salad. And this for a quarter of the pack is 3.5 grams of fat. And again, no carbs, because it's a protein. So I don't even know why I keep looking for the carbs on the proteins. So that's what I just got from Trader Joe's right now, but I do really quickly want to show you what I picked up last week from Whole Foods that I still have in my refrigerator. And again, if I was already out of it, then I would have also picked it up at Trader Joe's, but I did it. So it's because I already have some. Some eggs. Again, I've been just eating like scrambled eggs every morning with some mushrooms, some red onion, a little bit of that perinase. Very good. I have some smoked salmon which I didn't realize I was almost out of, so I should have gotten more at Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's is a really, really good smoked salmon. I also already had some almond milk, again, the unsweetened original. That way you don't have those extra calories and extra carbs from sugar or from the flavoring. I have some mushrooms, just some whole mushrooms that I've been chopping up for salads and for eggs, as well as cucumber and red onion. I have some kiwis, which are higher in fiber. They're not super keto friendly, but they're still pretty good. So definitely like a snack in moderation or on a day that I've maybe eaten my meals that are a little bit lower in carb and then I can like treat myself to a kiwi. Some basil for my scrambled eggs and for salads. Some celery sticks that I've been adding this Kite Hill cream cheese on. So it's not a real cream cheese, it's a made with almond milk. So it's just a plain cream cheese and I've been putting it on the celery sticks and then sprinkling some of the everything but the bagel seasoning on there as a nice little snack. Just super good, super filling low carb. So that is my keto grocery haul. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's also at low without limits where I'll be posting all my food and my stories and on my feed of just different things that I'm eating, different things that I'm making and not getting a video of because that does take a little bit more effort. And instead of just seeing a video with food once a week on my Instagram, I'll be posting a lot more often, just different things that I'm making. If I do go and pick up food that's more keto friendly or if I'm making something with Austin and just not getting a video of it, it'll all be there on my stories and on my feed. So you can see a lot more of what I'm eating. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite keto foods and keto meals are and what you want to see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.